Welcome to Ether World. Today's topic is MEV. Maximum extractable value or MEV refers to the profit that a user may earn by reordering transactions inside the block that is produced for a blockchain. This is in addition to the block reward and transaction fees that a miner typically receives. Earlier, this reordering of transactions was only done by miners as they have the visibility of transactions in the mempool. Hence, this was also known as miner extractable value. However, later on, some smarter developers figured out the opportunity and wrote scripts for bots to take advantage of the opportunities to make profit even without owning any cryptocurrency. In this video, we are going to learn about some of the bots and popular MEV techniques, front running, back running, sandwich trading. But before we get there, let's introduce few terms. Searcher, mempool. Searchers are arbitrage traders and bot operators who are actively seeking and discovering MEV chances on chain and capturing them in various ways to earn profit. They use bots to monitor the network for potential profitable orders and rearrange their transaction to gain profit. Mempool keeps track of all crypto transactions that are yet to be included in any block by a miner. It acts as a buffer zone or waiting area for pending crypto transaction. Lower priority transactions such as one with a low fee will have to wait more than one block before being processed and verified. Searcher accesses mempool transactions and rearrange their own transaction before or after a potentially profitable transaction. What is front running? As the name suggests, it is about getting a transaction ahead of a pending transaction in the execution queue. One of the most popular bot is generalized front runner. Searchers use generalized front running bot with less complicated codes to watch the mempool to detect profitable transactions. Typically, it will duplicate the code of the potential profitable transaction, substitute address with the front runner's address and perform the transaction locally to ensure that the updated transaction result in a profit for the front runner's address. If the transaction is profitable, the front runner will submit a modified transaction with a new address and a higher gas price, thereby front running the original transaction with higher gas fee to be mined before the pending transaction. This is achieved with gas golfing. Gas golfing is programming transactions so that they use the least amount of gas. It enables searcher to set a higher gas price while maintaining a constant total gas fee. Front running is often called priority gas auction because it is getting a transaction ahead of a pending transaction in the execution queue by bidding higher gas price. Miners can easily front run as they know all the transaction details in the mempool. Flashbot, an independent project, extended the Go Ethereum client with a service that allows searchers to submit MEV transactions to miners without revealing them to the public mempool. This prevents transactions from being front run and generalized front runners aren't as effective as they used to be. Next is back running. It is a technique of getting a transaction ordered second in line or immediately after an unconfirmed target transaction. A target transaction can be price oracle updates that allow liquidation transactions to be triggered immediately after or trade on 
ए एम एम ऑटोमेटेड मार्केट मेकर एक्सचेंज सच एज यूनिस्वा वेयर वन ट्रेड अफेक्ट द प्राइस ऑफर टू सब्सिक्वेंट ट्रेड्स अ बैक रनिंग बॉट मॉनिटर्स द इथीरियम मेम्पोल फॉर न्यू पेयर्स क्रिएटेड ऑन डी सेंट्रलाइज एक्सचेंज इफ इट फाइंड्स अ न्यू टोकन पेयर the bot places a buy order immediately the bot tries to buy as many as token possible but not all of them as there needs to be an opportunity for others to buy tokens as well the bot then waits for the price to go up so that other traders can buy the token from uniswap then the bot proceeds to sell back the token at higher price in order to maximize their chances of being mined immediately after their target a typical back runner will send many identical transactions with gas price identical to that of the target transaction sometimes from different account in order to increase the chances that one of their transactions is ordered after the target but before the competitor in other words they spam the network with useless transactions in a way front running is considered as less harmful because back running bots are likely to impose a larger negative externalities on the network by consuming the gas limit that means using up to network throughput with useless transactions what is sandwich trading sandwich trading is another common method of mev extraction a searcher watches the mempool for large dex transaction calculate the price effects due to large trade and place the buy and sell order before and after the original trade order to extract maximum benefit for example Suppose someone wants to buy 10000 ether with dai on uniswap a trade of this magnitude will have a meaningful effect on eth dai pair potentially significantly raising the price of eth relative to dai a searcher can calculate the approximate price effect of this large trade on eth dai pair and execute an optimal buy order immediately after the large trade buying eth cheaply then execute a sell order immediately after the large trade selling it for the higher price caused by the large order this is sandwiching a transaction sandwiching however is riskier as it isn't atomic A quick analysis of the blockchain revealed that Ethermine, a mining farm, is responsible for the bulk of sandwich trading and had collected a few hundred ETH through their sandwich trading sender addresses. A GitHub user, DeFi Cartel, designed and deployed a Salmonella contract to create a series of bait transactions which to ethermine and other sandwich traders would look like a juicy opportunity in the course of this fun experiment he managed to empty about 17 sandwich trading contracts and collected hundreds of eth sandwich trading is highly prone to a salmonella attack making it less attractive for miners or mev extractions these are popular mev techniques but there are more to it such as dex arbitrage nft mev time and uncle bandit attack etc mev is not all bad there are both positive and negative consequences to mev on ethereum to learn more on maximum extractable value check out our blog post on etherworld MEV in DeFi If you are looking for another doodle video like this on any particular form of MEV let us know in the comment below Thanks for